this is Alexa Sheree with Empathic Way located in Stone Mountain, Georgia. Um, today I wanted to come just to talk about some services that I will be offering for free, which is a Reiki entombment. Um, I was attuned to Reiki in 2012 by Sherry Andrea. My experience when I was attuned to Reiki was almost, the word I want to use is supernatural. <laughs> Woo! I went through a lot during that time. First, <clears throat> number one, I was in a horrible situation emotionally and physically, spiritually. Um, but I'm so thankful for the situation that I had gone through because it's made me such a stronger person today. And without that, I would not be this person. I know I would not be this person. So I was put through those, I almost want to call them initiations. And I'm going to be honest. I feel I was being initiated into something. I had a higher calling and I had to go through some stuff in order to make my way up to that calling. <sighs> With that being said, the experience, I do want to tell you about the experience that I had after I received my Reiki attunement. Before the attunement took place, um, a lot of dreams began to come to me. I would call them precognition dreams and First, let me let me say this. I am an empath. I'm imp I was born empath, and I was born intuitive. Okay. Some people call it psychic, psychic, but I don't. I call it just being intuitive. It's like you feel. It's a part of you. You feel it. You know it. You may not speak on it. It's just there, just like anything else. Okay. It's almost like I don't know a sixth sense or something. Seventh sense, whatever. I don't know what you want to call it, but it's a part of you, right? So that's something that I had shut down for a long time because, of, you know, just because of other experiences and other people not understanding that part of me when it would take place in front of them. So I began to tuck it away within me, within. I went inward, right? Yeah, that's what took place. So... Getting back to the dreams and all of that before I took my attunement, it started opening back up. It's always been there, but it really started opening back up. Like, Alexa Sheree, it's time. It's time to rock and roll. You know, it was that type of thing. So, did my attunement. Um, I would say... Later that day, not even that long after the attunement took place, I was in the living room um, on the computer and a black crow flew from the corner of my closet that was in the living room, okay? But keep in mind, there was no black crow, there was no physical black crow in sight. But it flew right, it flew so quickly towards me that I remember I ducked. <laughs> I was like, <gasps> I did more like that, yeah. I really just didn't go, oh. I did like, <laughs> right? Like, hey, where did he go? He didn't get the broom type thing. After that, it was on and popping. I went through all kinds of experiences. I had to learn how to breathe all over again. And the way they taught me how to breathe is when I would go to take a nap, I love naps. So when I would take a nap in the early afternoon, immediately, two minutes after laying down, I would be pulled into a dark hole, like a grave in the ground. And once I was in this hole, it was hard for me to breathe. 
when that took place, there were shadow people, I call them shadow people, and they were all around the hole. So as I laid down and I looked upward, and my lungs are constricted, trying to find air, kind of like this shadow breathe like a shallow breathing because I don't have a lot of oxygen right somehow no one physically spoke to me but I knew in my mind they taught me how to breathe so they would tell me to breathe like this It actually feels really good. <laughs> it makes your head light. It makes your body feel, <sighs> and it feels good. And it makes you feel relaxed because I was very tense in the dark hole. That experience just popped up out of nowhere and I took that as an initi initiation. I took that experience as an, inis an, an, I took that experience as some type of initiation that I was going through, that I had to go through. After, it took me about three months to learn how to breathe comfortably. And what happened after I did learn how to breathe, I would levitate upward to the top of the hole. Some days I would get pretty high, but I would go back down because I, I didn't have the strength to do the breathing. And then I would wake up and I would remember the experience. But the day that I conquered, I remember I was able to breathe easily. I rose up, up to the top where I ended on the grass. And this is what I call the shadow forest. The shadow people were there. I believe there was like three. And we walked into the forest together. Now, I do admit, once I was on land, on the ground, walking, the air was very, very thick. And my lungs were a little constricted. But it got easier over time. Um, as we proceeded into the shadow forest, that experience didn't happen anymore. Other experiences took place, which I don't have time to talk about right now because I was talking about Reiki. <laughs> so, but I did want to explain some stuff to you. The reason why I told that story it's because I think it's important for those who would like to be attuned th through Reiki. Um, I just want to sit at honest expectation of what I experienced. And I know other people, they go through their own experience. So I don't want you to be afraid or anything like that. If something that you're not familiar with takes place. Because changes are changes. And when we're not familiar with the change, sometimes we can get a little bit spooked or a little bit scared. And I don't want you guys to feel that way. So I wanted to share this story with you. But yeah, I'm definitely going to offer free Reiki later today. Oh, let, let, me, not, let me not promise that. Let me say this. I will be offering free Reiki on my YouTube page before Monday. It's a video. It will give you the instructions. It will walk you through the attunement. After that, you will be attuned to Reiki 1, 2, and 3 for free, totally free. If you would like to donate, that would be awesome because I do, I have a business. But this is something um, that I wanna give of myself to you for free. But I will offer other things like manuals and things like that, that you, you know, information that you can continue to learn from while you are on your journey of becoming stronger in your Reiki 
and learning more about the Reiki. For example, you may already you may already have been attuned before. You may know a lot about Reiki. That's not a problem. You can always be reattuned. Always be reattuned. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. It will just make your vibration higher and higher and more love and more light. You may notice light start to come from your fingertips, more and more light. There is nothing wrong with that. So if you want to be reattuned, you as well. Stay tuned. This is Alexa Sheree with Empathic Way, located in Stone Mountain, Georgia. Have a blessed day and see you soon. My name is Alexa Sheree. I'm the owner and founder of Empathic Way. Spiritual mental, spiritual.